welcome to another adventure on this planet Earth. I'm Mark Gilchrist and this week we're going on an urban hike, walking the streets of the city of Seoul, the capital of South Korea. So I have this thing I like to do when I'm visiting cities. I love to walk through cities and photograph and get nosy and talk to people. And yeah, I call it drop zone as I drop in somewhere and walk back. Kind of neat. Yeah, the idea is to get lost. Get on a bus or subway or something and go about 15 miles away from your hotel and then walk back and try and go through as many cool little communities and nooks and crannies. So I found a place in Seoul to go. Might take me all day the way I go. Okay, I go in the two green, eight pink. No wait, the, the green line number two and then the eight, the pink line number two, pink, eight. If I can just find the subway entrance. I have 3150 left. That's about $3. This is my first one. Two green. Well, this is just going way too smoothly. I, maybe it's just early in the morning and I'm more awake. This is working out well. You always seem to be lost late at night when you desperately want to get home. Yeah, I have no idea. I need the eight pink. I want to get to Garrick Market. Yeah, it's right here. Get on this train. Okay, go on the right train, go in the wrong direction. Upstairs, turn around, downstairs, go back. Yeah, okay, wasn't paying attention. And I overshot the stop. So, more stairs, down more stairs. Go back, two more stops. Only 10 a.m. Okay, I'm here. Garrick Market. Let's go for a walk. Well, I was hoping Garrick Market might be a market with tons of food stalls and whatnot, but no, it's just another high-end place. Well, that was a bust. So I'm gonna cross this river and go into Gangnam section. Let's we'll see what kind of style that brings. Well, I found a neat little apartment complex here, and all alongside of it was a long park. Found a neat little cooling center, kind of a senior center, if you will. Oh yeah, I can use this. Okay, shoes come off. <laughs> oh look, a post office. Looks like I get to mail some cold cash to this month's lucky winner of Cold Cash from Abroad contest. Let's go. Well, it's Saturday, so guess not. There's a wave of cricket noise that comes all over Seoul. Found a nice lady laying out some peppers to dry. Oh. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what's going on around here. Now this is a great way to cool off from the heat. They actually made the kids play rock, paper, and scissors to win an ice cream. And he was turning kids away. They were losing. No ice cream for you. Maybe it's some cultural thing where, you know, you're not supposed to get things for free. You're supposed to win them. Well, that was a great way to cool off on a hot day. Oh, it has to be in the 90s here. But it was refreshing just watching those kids play. And I got a little bit wet, too. <laughs> this is not looking too good. Kind of a dead end type thing. Let's see if I can find a park somewhere. Basketball courts, a little playground. Nice stage over here, amphitheater, some soccer fields. Beautiful little park. And right by the park uh, seems to be a private school. Uh, and I caught a soccer, oh excuse me, football practice. Rent a bike, Mark, they said. They're cheap, they said. They're fun. Yeah, these are great. All you do is download the app right away. Of course, you need a SIM card. Cool. It's the Trek store in Seoul, South Korea. Made in America by Americans. I can't believe how honest people are around here. Look, they just leave things lying around. I think it's got to be worth thousands of dollars. I could just pick it up and walk away with it. Couldn't I? Couldn't I? Well, there's, there's CCTV cameras everywhere, so probably wouldn't fit in my backpack anyway. 
sun is out and it is strong. It looks like rain. We're getting a little rain shower right now. May have to break out the umbrella. So this is how you cross a busy street in Seoul, South Korea. You take the elevator down, then you find the other elevator. Nope, that's the ladies' room. Ah, I can't find another elevator. I'll try the escalator. Back on the street. Hopefully on the right corner. Okay. I see the Jehovah's Witnesses around Southeast Asia. They always want to try and talk me into the Jehovah's Witnesses. Of course, that's natural. I tell them I'm from America and they say, well, have you heard about it? Well, I'm, I'm from America. Yes, but have you heard about you? Oh well. Still in Gangnam. I've been out forever. I haven't gotten too far. It's gonna be a long night. I'm having a blast. Any idea what the largest restaurant chain in the world is? Yep, right out of Kentucky. That's it. <laughs> I have all these options on places to eat. Korean barbecue. I mean, there's just thousands. So where do I eat lunch? Lotteria. Yeah, sometimes when you're, you're having a busy day, you, you just want to know what you're getting. You just want to eat. Sit in air conditioning, comfortable chair, rest for a while. That's what I did. I apologize. Here's one of those parking towers. Things probably 10 stories high. Right in front of it is a turntable. And uh, the cars drive in and then they go up this elevator. The tower holds 36 cars. I'm south of the river still. I had to cross the bridge, but it looks like I have less than 10 kilometers to go. I may make it. Now this is one of the coolest Kias called the Ray. Well, let's check it out. Okay, we got we got regular doors on this side. It's like a taxi roof in the back. So cool. And then we got the backward doors. It's the Ray of Kias. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say somebody uh, lost a tire here. This tow truck looks a little bit uh, out of its league. Seoul is a very pedestrian-friendly city. I'm on the bridge, crossing the river. Hey, hey there. There's a, a tall hill right across the bridge. Looks very cool. Do you think I'm gonna climb it? Oh yeah. They put these emergency phones on bridges for people who have just done something unfortunate or for people who think they're about to do something unfortunate. Give somebody a call, get yourself out of a jam. Yeah, Seoul is split right down the middle by this river and there are about two dozen bridges that cross it. Yeah, we're getting a few raindrops. Looks like it might get a shower. Be nice, kind of cool things down around here. One steep hike. Beautiful part of town. Go up this hill and down kind of some slums, which is weird because the view is gorgeous up there. On the way down, went through the Middle Eastern immigrant section of town. Uh, very touristy, very popular. Uh, got a nightlife going. That's Mad Life. This looks like a couple dancing. And then, when you look at it from this angle... Can you tell this isn't Singapore? Where gum is illegal? And people, they're so human! I mean, come on, seriously. Name another species that spits its gum on the sidewalk. Right now I'm kind of in the middle of a U.S. government installation. I'm not sure what it is. It's not the embassy. Uh, I don't think it's a base or anything, but, but the U.S. military has been active in Korea for, for decades, ever since the war, and we've had thousands of people here for many, many decades. On the other side of the street is the Korean War Memorial. I was there a few days ago. Let me show you around. What is with the telephone booths? There, I've seen more telephone booths in Seoul than I have in the past five years. I've never seen anyone using them, 
Everyone here has cell phones. Well, we've come across a movie set here. Yeah, they were filming some kind of TV or movie scene. Looked like quite a setup. 